Lori Neverman from Common Sense Homesteading, and today we're talking a little bit about passive solar heating. In our home, we have large south-facing banks of windows that are shielded by an overhang during the summer. When you're looking at passive solar heating, you want windows that are roughly 8 to 12 percent of your floor area for your home. Ours are at the upper limit of that. We could have gone, they're near 12. And we could have gone a little bit less on that. I think that would have been better for our area, but it was the first time our builder had worked with this, so we were all learning together. If you look closely, you can see that the upper windows on the main floor are shaded by an extension of the roof, and the lower windows down in the basement are shaded by this deck that runs along the length of the house. You can also note that the window, the overhang does not start immediately above the windows there's actually a little bit of space here and the same thing is true on the lower levels when you're sizing an overhang for passive solar there are different design tools that you can use and i'll link to one that's online in the post because you don't actually want the overhang right attached to the window most of the time you can moderate your spacing and above the window with the height or the distance of the overhang to get just the right fit for your area and your climate. If you would like to learn more about passive solar heating, please visit the URL at the end of this video. And I have 14 tips there for integrating passive solar heating into your home design. Thanks for listening. Bye.